to ensure effective utilization of plea bargaining in Anambra criminal justice delivery system and drastic reduction of man rights abuses in police statement taking rooms, stakeholders in the justice sector, including staff of the Department of Public Prosecution, DPP, Anambra State Ministry of Justice, and heads of different police units have held a one-day brainstorming, a one-day brainstorming session in Oka. Plea bargaining, which is provided for in the Anambra criminal justice law, as amended, is a situation where a person charged with higher offense plea bargains for a lesser one. The application for plea bargaining is often considered by a committee in the Ministry of Justice and recommendations made to the Attorney General of the state who gives final approval. Our judiciary correspondent, Joseph Ebocha, filed the report. Speaking on the topic tagged, meeting with justice stakeholders on the roles of various institutions in ensuring the effectiveness of plea bargaining and statement taking room, STR, the Anambra State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Silva Ifemeje, announced that the meeting agreed with the remand procedures as provided in the current Anambra criminal justice law are creating a lot of administrative bottlenecks because suspects are not remanded in prison custody expeditiously leading to conjecture in police detection rooms the meeting according to professor ifemeje therefore resolved to take further steps to ensure that remand cases are expeditiously dispensed with so suspects are not made to stay more than 24 hours in police custody Noting that expenditures, dispensation of justice is in line with the manifesto promise of Governor Chukuma Soludo, the Justice Commissioner explained that the plea bargaining is a veritable tool in the hands of justice stakeholders to achieve this objective, adding that the gains include gradual deconjection of correctional service centers. Professor Ife Meje, who thanked the rule of law and anti-corruption rollout for its roles in assisting justice delivery system, among other other interventions in Anambra said the state is lucky to be among beneficiaries of such program. The justice stakeholders have converged today to brainstorm on how we can ensure the effectiveness of plea bargaining in Anambra states. As you all know, plea bargaining is a veritable tool in the hands of justice stakeholders to ensure that our uh, there's expeditious dispensation of justice in line with Mr. Governor's manifesto promise to the Anambra. Contributing, the Anambra State Coordinator of the Rule of Law and Anti-Corruption Rolak Program, Mrs. Josephine Honor, said, Measures discussed at the meeting will surely expand this justice delivery system in Anambra State. She said that Rolak is committed to improving criminal justice delivery in the state by supporting the enhancement of performances of relevant institutions in order to be able to deliver effective and efficient criminal justice. We are looking at enhancing the performance of institutions in order to be able to deliver effective and efficient criminal justice.